An investment advisor comes to Auckland's defense, and HUD announces significant changes to its distressed asset stabilization program. Ahead on Monday's News Wrap. In response to accusations from institutional investors against Auckland Financial of failure to perform, investment advisor LL Funds has come to the defense of the embattled mortgage servicer in the form of an independent 26-page white paper titled In Defense of Auckland Servicing, released Friday. Philadelphia-based LL Funds said in the white paper that the institutional investors' claims of non-performance on the part of Auckland made through law firm Gibbs & Bruns are flawed. LL Funds wrote that when certain factors, namely the fact that Auckland services a much larger portion of subprime borrowers than other servicers, and Auckland has given marginal borrowers a second and third chance, that, quote, Auckland's performance is better than other servicers, end quote. The White Paper said that actions such as the failure to perform notice sent to trustees of Auckland service deals end up harming both the bondholder and the homeowner. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development on Friday announced significant changes to its distressed asset stabilization program meant to offer more protections to borrowers facing foreclosure. Under the new rules, loan servicers are required to delay foreclosure on a home for a year and evaluate all borrowers facing foreclosure for participation in the government's Home Affordable Modification Program or a similar loss mitigation program. You can check out these stories and all the latest happenings in the industry right here on our site. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again on Tuesday. Until then, stay with DSNews.com for all of your most relevant default servicing news.